can do and how they can take advantage of how new the utility works this time around and also the way that the new weapon placement works as well. Colin. There's not just a singular way to play this map and we've gotten to see so many different styles, whether it be putting down marksmanship rifles, whether it be putting down those big power weapons, but one way or the other, we are going to see two teams, I think, go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, blow for blow here, right in the center of the map because you see both teams put two to three members right there in the middle of the two houses, Golden Boy. Now, this is going to be a little dangerous there. Icy's and Rushies had to back away from this one as they're getting knocked down and taking a bunch of damage. The crossing from Ghost, so exquisitely done. And I was talking to their coach, Reciprocity's coach, Fatal Strike yesterday, asking him, what are some of the things that he's looking for in that matchup against Glory? And the thing that he said, and he admitted to me straight up, there wasn't much really to take away because they had dominated their competition. They did not reveal their hand. That makes Ghost Gaming that much more scary in this matchup. And this is the reason why, folks, it's going to be a GG right at the start. Ghost Gaming coming out strong. So Reciprocity right there ends up getting a bunch of kills early on, and they were heavy-handed with the L Reciprocity, triggers. Reciprocity, excuse me. No, 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 it's all right. I know with the excitement going on, sometimes you lose track of one way or the I'm other. I'm an old man. You got you to gotta give it to me. It's all right. It's early in the morning. I'm, I'm here with you, baby. I'm here to work with you. I'll keep, I'll keep, I'll keep you right that, here people. with me. Hey, 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 it was a long <laughs> night. You know, fight for the fall. We had to watch it. We had to take it in. It's very true. What we saw right there, something that a lot of people wanted to see more of in Gears 4, but we have got it back and better than ever here in Gears 5. Rushies had three back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back beautiful L triggers where you aim all the way down the site, pop that shot off with that brand-new Nasher. You saw the hit registration was beautiful. Shout-outs to the dev team making it so good for us in Gears 5. And they got the down, the out. They put the pressure so on. So I, I do want to speak to that conversation once again with Fatal Strike because he had mentioned that... He, there wasn't really much for him to take away from. But this right here, this was the thing yesterday that when that Marksa was put down in the middle of the map, in that one of those mid pickups, they was right? The, the bandstand where Ghost put it. Exactly. That was something that really caught the attention. You don't want to give that Marksa uh, that marks to right, Ghost Gaming. You simply do not want them to have possession of that weapon because they have five players on that squad that know how to take advantage of that. All five of them, great marksmen in their own right. You saw an early down and an out on Chaos from Reciprocity, but I think Rushies might get called out. They might lose this mark to just as early, and they do. So GB blew back and forth for him here in the second round, and it looks like Reciprocity's trying to get a full-on chokehold in the middle area. Sleeper now has picked that Marksa up from the corpse of Rushies. And remember, folks, when you're down in that DBNO state, down but not out, you cannot get back up like you could in Gears 4. But players can take you out from a distance like you could in Warzone in previous installments of Gears. It's always something to remember. When you see a player down, they need their teammates to pick them back up so they can get into the fight. But we're taking a look now at Dezo, who's on the move here, finds two members of Reciprocity right in front of him. Rushies picks up a double off screen. And again, Rushies, this man has been putting that Nasher to such great use. The Dessa covered it in the pre-show. Rushies was on fire yesterday, and it seems like he's going to continue that trend here today. Rushy's trying to turn himself into the man, the myth, the legend that everybody has to keep their eyeballs on at all times. All eyes on me is a once great philosopher said. But... <laughs> I think what we need to take a look at deeper is Dezo hesitated in that rotation. There was yes. a 2v2 over there, and by the time he got over there, a third member of Reciprocity was already there waiting, lancering down, making it easier and easier. So now they've got a push on this rotation, and it looks like it's come out because Rezik and Icy have both been taken out to the credit of Ghost Gaming's rotation. Three members wolf pack. Something that this Ghost team does so incredibly well is they roll together, and they're just always watching one another's back. I know that a lot of teams, they put a lot of time into wolf packing. They put a lot of time into making sure that they can coordinate and work together. But something about the way that Ghost plays, when they want to get a push on and they want to take out two players and get some value out of it, they always, always get their man. Dezo's going to have to back off here again, even though he's got a backup right there in the middle. They get a great down on Franchise. That's quick. That's great. That's big. Identifies now with the mark. So he's just as deadly as anybody. A lot of shots in, so... That's a scary situation, and he's going to rotate back over because he realized that lane priority needed to go back towards the cinema area. Oh, weak player, too. That was going to be Identives. You saw that red hit marker pop up. That means that he connected with a headshot. Lots of damage was outputted there, and the marks are continuing to just shred Identives. You said, Colin, very good with this weapon. This whole team is nasty with this weapon. I love watching how quick he is to turn one way, 180 degrees, get some more shots in on somebody else, get it down, turn it. 
another 180 degrees, get more shots on somebody else. Reciprocity has nowhere this, to run and nowhere to hide. You put more ammo in the weapon, and it just becomes that much more deadly. You're giving him all the tools to mess around with now. And you see at the top, Swarm will win in one second. And now, finally, I can say Ghost Gaming picks up their round win. And that was really Identive's mid-map. Moving around freely, not worrying about being challenged, and supporting with that Marksa, continuing to lay down those giant bullets onto those opponents, and all his teammates needed to do was essentially sneeze on, on the opposition, and they were going to go down. So here's something I want to go ahead and point out for our viewers at home, because we haven't talked about it yet. I think right there at the end, nobody for reciprocity tried to throw their lives away. They can, they just held on. They knew they were going to get triple capped, just as Ghost Gaming did in the first round when the triple cap came through. Nobody wasted an extra respawn. Yeah. We take a look at it now. Icy and Rushies all the way down to three, but three members at five. Ghost Gaming, though, has done a brilliant job of conserving their life. Still four members with all six possible lives here. And that was kind of the trend uh, yesterday in the Tox Simplicity matchup versus the other three games that we saw earlier in the day where players were throwing a few more lives in these in these uh, early, early rounds, game. right? And in the earlier matches, early rounds, they were doing that. I think that now players are starting to catch wind, like, let's not throw too much investment too early on, but already out of the rip, it's gonna be Ghost Gaming who managed to pick up two members here, and that is huge there. Let's actually jump in to a listen-in with Ghost. <laughs> Ghost Gaming definitely thrown down some colorful language if you see Spanish out there, but they have all the reasons to do so. They dominated that round. The marks of placement from Reciprocity has certainly come to bite them in the butt, and the worst part about it was that when Ghost Gaming picked it up, they gave it to Sleefer. He gets that mark. He's such a great support player. Right away, gets that weapon. Instant value with the headshot. Ever since then, really, Wreck just couldn't move around the map. So something I want to point out. I got two, I got two notes down here. From, that, from those call-outs, from that listening, I got intensity 
Every time something was said, it was said with a sheer amount of determination. This must be done. It was very intense callouts. They had urgency. When the boom shot needed to get that double kill on the B hill, it got it immediately. And finally, identives. When they needed the good rotations, when they needed somebody to take control of the troops, they looked to identives right there, sitting in the very middle of their lineup on the stage. So intensity, urgency, identives. It was his recipe for a success all round three. These last two rounds have been beautiful for Ghost Gaming. At the they start, Identives, he's going to get the first blood right away. It's going to leave Franchise now to have to push up, and he's going to be stunned for a moment. Does manage to get the down, but not the kill on Identives, and thus he's going to pay for that one with his life. That's going to be four members down. Sleepy Time's going to be the LMS last man standing in this situation, and already at the start of this round, it is all Ghost Gaming. They're riding that momentum from those last two wins. Here, possible triple cap domination. Another no economy round. Another economy round. They're not going to put anything in. Franchise came off spawn, so I think that's a wasted spawn. But that is a bit of a bonehead mood. He'll get one back, but because he, he didn't have to waste it. But I'm telling you right now, here's here's something that we're going to go all the way back to the beginning of this map. If you don't if you don't mind, yeah, franchise is going to get that back. He's going to get that right back. But I I just want to point this out yeah. for everybody at home. Reciprocity wins round one. Their first weapon placement is that Marksa. Now, Ghost Gaming can't put it on their home, but in return, Ghost Gaming can use their first weapon pick to give their front spawn an extra flashbang grenade. Everybody on their side now has utility grenades at their disposal, whether it be flashbangs, whether it be smokes, they now, each and every one of them, will have the ability to cut line of sight, to make it a little harder for them mm -hmm. to push into that power weapon, which is why I think Identives continues to win that boom shot fight. He stuns out Icy, gets Icy to cover his face, he's blind, he can't move, he gets one shot down by Identives, that's back-to-back -back rounds that's happened to him. That initial win from Ghost Gaming, it all just falls apart from there for Reciprocity. Once again, though, shocks are gonna be picked up and sent on over. This actually could do a sizable amount of damage. The stuns now start to come into effect. Good placement there. His players are gonna be tucked away in the corner, but no one's there for the follow-up. The boom shot, though, takes out Chaos. That's gonna open the floodgates now for Reciprocity. So I was a little concerned there for a moment, but they did have that follow-up that was necessary to be able to capitalize on that push. And finally, Reciprocity, they're gonna win out on that initial. They were able to win it out based on the fact that they continued to build their home hill. They got the shocks down. The shocks, a big factor. We saw it all day yesterday. Teams were using them perfectly if they were placed in the correct spots. Sleepy time may get pushed now, though, because look at the wolf pack from Ghost Gaming. Ghost Gang has showed up on the bandstand side of the map. Uh -oh. Four deep. Uh-oh, there goes Identives. He pushes right on forward. Manages to drop Sleepy Time. Icy around the corner. Three members of Ghosto. Look at them sticking together, throwing down shots when they need to. Icy, that's going to be a wrap for you, my friend. Franchise had to look at his teammate fall in that exchange. And then Ghost, they're just going to scurry away right out, of that, right out of that last kill. They got the value out of it. Rezik with the Marksa in hand. He's full red. There's no reason for him to be continuing this fight. He's gonna get pushed from two sides and he will get taken out. So as much as Reciprocity tried to flip the map, do a little OE, a little overextension of their forces, it's called out, rotated on. Ghost is playing on a different level after that first round. I know it looked like it was gonna be all Reciprocity, but Ghost Gaming, they all of a sudden dropped this sucker into sixth gear and have taken off. It's so scary when Ghost Gaming managed to do that. They did it against Glory yesterday, and it was not pretty. Granted, Reciprocity, they had a, I would say, a great showing against Rise Nation. But now this is a whole different ball game here, people. The shot grenades are going to come online a little bit. That will open things up for these players, giving them an opportunity. Boom shot as well at the cinema. So look for those shocks to play a role in getting that weapon. Also, Marks is going to be coming up in around 25 seconds. And as it currently stands, this swarm. AKA the Ghost Gaming team are on the path to victory. Chaos with the immediate kill on Rezik. That's going to be two players down for Reciprocity. Monkeys throws down a shot, connects, and that's going to be Sleeper with the follow up now. And this is not looking good for Rushies. That's four men down there for Reciprocity. 
players now having to invest and come off spawn here, Colin. What a win for Ghost. Big win, big time win. And I want to go back. The thing that something else again that's new to Gears 5. I'm going to keep harping on all these amazing changes we've seen. Franchise had a great rotational chance to get a flank on three members of Ghost Gaming. They've heightened the level that the noise of the footsteps makes, and he was called out pretty quickly Ooh. as he just ran across the map and got no kills, no downs, no dimes for his time. Brand needs to win this. I... <laughs> Brand needs to win that one for the confidence there. Unfortunately, didn't really work out for him. That was just a battle of uh, one versus one. Yeah. Who's going to get the better of that one? But really, at the end of the day, it's all about the scoreboard, and it will be Ghost Gaming. That sits up top four to one. First to seven. Three more rounds left, and Ghost will take game one, and they'll be that much closer to our grand finals later on today. They're going to disable it. They don't want him to upgrade to the drop shot. Beautiful play. Beautiful play. They now have four rounds. They can't build a drop there. And if they win the next three rounds, it's 7-1, and you never got a favorite play toy of reciprocity because now they don't have the shocks. They can't build up to a drop, and Ghost can continue to do basically as they please. And I don't, think or I don't think Ghost really cares if they disable their, their shock because they haven't really needed it. They've been winning that initial without it. It's it's one of those things. This is that's a power move. They are getting out thought. What Blaze said in the pregame about Fatal Strike being the better of the two coaches, I think, is getting a little a little a little shine is being worn off. A little tarnish maybe on that because Fatal Strike doesn't have an answer to what Demise and Ghost Gaming are able to do with these early round weapon picks. It all spiraled out of control with that first weapon pick. The marks that kind of set the tone, momentum of the match. Flashes are now going to go out. Where's the follow up? Who's there to pick up the kills when they need it? Chaos having to deal with a player pushing him on the left side, and he's going to just jump on out of there. Rezik gets the Boomer, and he's going to be out of this one, but Rezik goes down, and he had the Boom in his hand, so now Ghost Gaming, they're going to get the Boom shot because he didn't get an opportunity to pocket it. Franchise, oh, the Boom shot misses. You hate to see that one happen. Can Franchise follow it up with this? He's surrounded by players, and he will finally go down, but right there, the pain has been felt on Reciprocity. They certainly were not expecting that one to go oh, the way that it did but the follow-up from reciprocity now they pick up two kills of their own they're going to stop this bleeding colin they, they got to do something they're going to have to go to triage if they want to stop this bleeding this is getting bad and ugly quick 4-1 already with ghost threatening 5-1 you see reciprocity has two hills to their advantage but look at this amphitheater side you've got chaos and dezo two of the best shotgun players on the side of ghost trying to hold off what is a three to four man flood from reciprocity so here's the answer. This is their callback, their counterpunch mid-round. But will it be enough to get them another one on the board? They had to clear them out of the amphitheater. There was no other choice there. They have been owning cinema this entire time. Now, back at the action is Reciprocity will have the B and C hills currently. Rezik. Had a challenge from Sleefer from behind, managed to make short work of him. Rushes his teammates going to be down and finally cleaned up at a distance comfortable distance. Rezik surrounded. He went in there to try and see if he could pick up some stragglers, pick up some players that maybe weren't paying attention to him. He said he's going to pay for that one dearly. Sleepy time. I, I like the positioning because it gives them an angle over most things, but they're going to have to make a decision on who to push. Chaos there might be waiting on that next mark. So that's up at seven seconds. The boom shot's up at five seconds. So they're going to have to figure out what weapon they're going to give up because they don't have soldiers in the right spots to get either or. They have to pick one or the other. Yeah, really no choice. Boom shot's going to be easily taken for Chaos. Might live up to that name with the boom shot in hand. There's one shot out. Rezik, goodbye, my friend. From a distance, though, Icy. Downed on to sleepy time, and Chaos is right there to help his buddy out. Even though they got that boom shot, they're still still in this. The score, as you see at the top, top left of your screen, is going to be 180 to 79 and counting because they have A and C, the two home hills. So you can have that boom shot, but they'll take those points. And then the rushing, man. Look at the way that Ghost Gaming, they just pushed him out of A, shoved him out of there like they're, like, like, like they're yesterday's trash. 
Yesterday's trash is still laying all over the street corners, and you see Franchise having to fly away from that home. Look at him, he's gonna try to sneak up again on a flank, but he doesn't really connect with the first shot. Monkeys is still alive in this engagement. Finally, he lived so long that it might have bought them enough time Coming to get to away wire. with this. It's gonna be so close. Dezo flying across the map, he's gonna die, but this is the last round of the half, so you have to go ahead Ten and throw seconds. all your resources at it, and I believe that will solidify the round win unless B gets decapped as well. Oh no, this isn't good. Franchise needs to go huge. He can't do it. No, Franchise goes down. Two players from Ghost Gaming. We're looking right at him, but they swarm, should know swarm. the Swarm will win. Oh no, Ghost Gaming. It wasn't one hill that they needed, and Ghost Gaming picks up a round five win. Can you believe it? Chaos, both hands over his neck. Dezo slapping himself in the neck. They're calling for the choke here early on Championship Sunday. Ghost Gang is here to stay. It doesn't matter who you call, you can't bust them right now. The way that they played that, they rushed the home two players, giving Franchise no opportunity for that clutch potential. They just played that one perfectly. And now Ghost Gaming, they have another win, and guess what? That shot grenade that we talked about earlier, still gonna be locked for two rounds. It almost seems like what you talked about earlier, them being able to pick up those three round wins, that could come to fruition if it keeps going like this. Identity's gonna be tucked in the corner though, but he's gonna have the support of his teammates that you can't stop. This Ghost Gaming team, they're on fire here. Identity has his player running with his tail between his legs and Franchise has to get out of there and they're gonna win the Boomer. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in this one, but Fuego Muy Caliente. I think you, I, I think you got it, buddy. Okay, I'm gonna try it. it. I tried it out. I had to try I, it one time. I, I, listen, I'm a, I'm a Puerto Rican that can't speak Spanish, but I know that uh, <laughs> what you said there was 100% accurate. And we have and a break in the action. Everybody was kicked. Oh, we have a break. Something happened. Uh, something has legitimately happened, and uh, Golden Boy, I'm gonna take us back to the early rounds while we have a moment to talk about it. You just saw it there again. That first round placement of the flash bangs for Ghost Gaming yeah. has come into effect so unbelievably well for them. Yeah. Just right there, Identives gets into that corner. He throws the first flash, Icy Stunned. One of the back spawns makes it to the fight, throws a secondary flash. Icy is still stunned. Yes, and it was a nice gesture for reciprocity to put that Marksa down for them. Oh, thank you so much, guys. Now we could just we could just worry about our 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 guys. We can give our guys the utility to have to deal with this. You can see real reciprocity taking a moment to have a conversation. We also do want to let everyone know as well that you know while yes this is a, you know a tournament and we have a lot of money on the line and stuff. This very much is a game that isn't even out yet. <laughs> so sometimes things are going to happen but we will we have the best crew in the business here looking to resolve this issue reciprocity they're having a conversation to see what they can do to bounce back into this game ghost gaming they're riding off of that momentum we're going to take a quick break when we come back is reciprocity going to be able to benefit from this or will ghost gaming simply just close this out you don't want to miss it this is Ely gears five we'll see you soon Back, everyone, to the Ely Gears 5 Summer Series Invitational, powered by Truth. We're here at the Boost Mobile Caster desk getting ready for this matchup. Now, if you're just joining us, we had a technical pause. It was a power outage and the issue that had occurred that led to us having to delay a little while so we can get this matchup going. Reciprocity down 5-1 to one against Ghost Gaming. And you just saw you just saw a great piece there from Sleepy talking about this this journey that he's been on. And it, it really has been just, it, it was a magical road for him, but now he finds himself in different colors this time around. It's it's an up and down roller coaster without a doubt, but I think we saw in that piece, you know, Sleepy Time talking to their Chef James a little bit, and I wonder who Chef James would pick as his ingredients for a championship team. <laughs> would it be the guy still under the Ghost Gaming banner and identives, or would it be the couple of guys sitting across the stage from him in Sleepy Time, Rushies, Fatal Strike, all former members of that championship winning team with Ghost Gaming way back when in Las Vegas? Yeah, certainly will be a question that I, I'm, I'm positive will keep Chef James up at night. <laughs> uh, and, and, and I, but I think that the the thing that has really been so impressive from Ghost Gaming 
is their ability to recognize what their opposition is going to do, what they're bringing to the table, and then just adjust on the fly. Really put the priority, as the desk had stressed and talked about, the utility. It is so important. I think it was Veli who had said that this this game is given to love to the supports, right? And that is the reason why we're seeing so much of an emphasis being placed on these flash grenades on the shock grenade on even the smoke grenade even though we haven't really seen it that much in this particular game it has value there's so much you can pull away from those uh, from those grenades well it's it's become like we've said a lot we've used this analogy quite often and i hate to keep beating a dead horse but we keep saying it's 3D chess with hulking monsters. It really has become this chess game. You no longer just have, you know, cannon fodder that come out of respawn every chance that they get and possibly die in the next possible engagement. Now you have this opportunity for, well, we've got this, so let's counter punch them down on the bottom half of the map, make sure that we make something happen where our strengths are and not where theirs are based on what weapons you place and who possibly has a certain amount of respawns or lives left because we all know the respawns and the lives in this game yeah. are heightened. They're cranked up to a factor of 15, it seems like, because all of a sudden you're finding yourself down to only two lives or maybe three. Well, we are still waiting to jump into the game here as players are uh, waiting to get back into this. And you can see Chaos kind of uh, directing traffic and addressing some issues there. You know that Reciprocity wants to dive back into this one. We were, we were roaring and raging right through this game. It was intense. One has to wonder how this, uh, how this downtime has affected Ghost Gaming and the run that they were managing to put together. And then, most importantly, how has Reciprocity managed to use this time to be able to re regroup get their heads back into this one and then as we would hope to see maybe bring that comeback in, in uh, potential in this game make that comeback a reality are they too far down the rabbit hole at this point colin to come back into this game if you're gonna ask me that right in here and now my answer for you is honestly no because this is a completely different game than what we're used to we used to see people get down by a big deficit and never ever have the ability to crawl or scratch their way out of it in this game in gears 5 you're able to manipulate the map a lot better you're able to put a weapon somewhere that the other team might not have an answer for you've got to find that positioning though if you're reciprocity they keep posturing themselves for a power weapon in the cinema area and they've been losing it and it's all based on that utility we keep going back to so now reciprocity with two of the best minds in the game's history have to get together huddle up and say how do we go about making sure that we can posture ourselves for the correct weapon placements going into the second half here we go folks back into the game we go time to wake up if you're here in the e-league studio and for those of you watching at home back in the action and we're going to be on board now with icy from reciprocity reciprocity going to be the cog in the blue ghost gaming the swarm in the red and identives immediately is going to pick up a boom shot kill on icy sending him back to the respawn and now Rushies is stuck in this 1v1 right here against Sleeper in the middle of the map. He pushes forward too much over aggression and three members quickly back to back to back dive for reciprocity. They're already on the back foot. We come right back and it looks like we never even stopped. Yeah, reciprocity. Again, that downtime. I was wondering if that could have been an assisting factor for them here but it seems like ghost gaming once once they're on that run there is nothing that was going to stop them from being able to take advantage of this game at the start now ghost gaming will have d and e hill covered the f hill will be for wreck as it currently stands ghost is gaining this lead and already things start to slow down we saw this a lot yesterday in that tox simplicity matchup where players just decided to take their time. And I think that reciprocity needs to respect it. And they are the Marksa of Sleefer. When that quality support player gets that weapon in his hands, it, it ceases to become just a marksman weapon. It becomes a power weapon. I'm going to go ahead and uh, make Look a at little... This. Look at that! There's another headshot from Sleefer. I need to make an observation here. Your best bet now, since Sleeper continuously gets this Marksa, is what Reciprocity needs to lean on, is they need to Through try the to get smokes out. Through the grades. He, don't, he did not even expect it there. He was, like, uh, he was like, he was like, he was like, out through the grades and defenses looking right at him. And this has just been dominating from Sleeper. 
a sleeper right now must be nicknamed DJ Khaled. He's got that in his hand. He said, and another one. I don't know if you necessarily want to go that route, Colin. Okay. Right? As a person who has had explicit experience with DJ Khaled. My bad. It's just, My not, bad. It's just not the route we want to go here for Gears. I'm kidding. I, uh, just, <laughs> I, just, I just figured, you know, he keeps getting one after the next after the next. This is very maybe true. Maybe we call him the Domino Man. I don't know, Oh, maybe. well, Monkey Zo is going to get two, and that actually was one of his teammates, Identifs, who goes down there. It could maybe be the catalyst to give reciprocity the opening they needed but sleeper he's gonna punish sleepy time who pushed on forward that's another headshot for the marks of god 38 seconds goes will win you have to collapse here look they have the two home hills they're sending members down that middle area they're gonna go ahead and get this break icy's gonna try his best to just stand on there it, it is. Make, them make the move you gotta make them make the move now stay on that hill they got to stay on it, and they do manage to get possession of E. Where is going to be the pressure from Ghost Gaming now as they've been tucked away in the corner? Rushies, look at this team okay, pushing him forward. That is very well done, making them go back to their home and having to regroup. I like the fact that Rushies gets inside of this room here to try and get possession of it, but instantly gets chunked. That's two players down. The advantage that Reciprocity had, it just went away in a heartbeat, and now it is going to be Ghost Gaming in five seconds could win this. This one sleepy time could be the hero that this team needs he's gonna be out of the fight though and the pickup happens 245 they just need one hill and that is gonna be a wrap no one challenging them in the neutral and GG ghost gaming all right game point after that extended pause all right so here we go at the very end there I'm gonna pick you up with a little deep dive into what happens you have the two members of ghost gaming set up above the first half home hill rushies he goes for a brilliant flank through the juice bar he gets inside of it and he's still roadie running he's trying to get to a position as fast as possible he is not expecting the fact that the third member of ghost gaming has now come back off spawn and is going to meet him in that juicer because he's going to head down out of spawn and rushes is still head downing for his flank they meet each other he miss rolls into the corner bang bang pow. what could have adjusted there what could they they have done rushes have done different maybe bust he out the lancer out. and then try and just it, it put the pressure with the lancer fire if he puts pressure with the lancer fire in the back that positioning member for ghost gaming has to either push forward into the jaws of the rest of reciprocity or he has to pull back and rushies is good enough and with that distance that medium range lancer he could have had time to pull that nasher out so a little misplay from him causes that last gas push to fall apart now again folks i want to reiterate i believe that because we had that stalemate round we lost one round of the locked weapon of the shocks both of these teams have agreed not to go for the shock so the shocks technically still locked in this game or in this round I should say so what you're seeing right now players you know oh no Identity. he takes out himself and his teammates and that is going to give reciprocity all the momentum that they need I think Rushies needs to go ahead and OE right here, get the home hill of Ghost. You see a big flank coming out for Franchise. Franchise has to get these shots on, though. If he cannot get enough damage on, he's just going to literally have to pull himself back. This is a terrible position for he him. He doesn't know that he's around the corner. He did not catch wind of Monkeys. Luckily, his Nasher does manage to connect, and that could have gone south real quickly there, Colin, had he not seen that player on the left side. It's not often you misposition yourself in gears and you end up winning the gunfight franchise. Big time play out of him. You see Rushies with the Marksa in hand. And that thing with as many bullets as it's got, it is quite the force to be reckoned with. But Rushies little He needs to be careful. The roll there almost gets him a full red and he has to back on up. So now you see the defensive wall stand up for reciprocity. They're down 6-1. This is the point though where Ghost has the ability to maybe farm a few of those lives because if you're wrecked, you don't have an option not to respawn. You have to give resources now to win rounds going down the road. They're gonna take Rushies over to Juice now. That's the position you're seeing. So like the green side, if you want a more of a the color reference on the other side will be the blue. I know Ben and likes calling that what it is but this is where you want to bring this mark so you get the lay of the land vision in the mid looking at who's going to be lingering around cinema you can also shoot through those grates as well as we saw sleefer do earlier on and with the Marksa, this is looking good but rushies has to be careful and he gets crossed he gets caught outside and i I don't know. I don't know why Rushies decided to go out from Juice, but hey, there's a reason why he's up there, and I'm over here. Now, though, this advantage 
that they had, it's all going to be down to just one member of reciprocity to try and hold it forward for them. I'm going to take note of this too. Rushies, when he went out of that juice and went down, he dropped the Marksa, and guess who has it in his hands now? He couldn't pocket it. When you put that weapon on your back and you do not have it at the ready, it gets pocketed. So it disappears when the player goes down. Because he did not have opportunity to do that, now that weapon goes in the hands of, of course, Ghost Game. Oh, actually, yeah, Ghost Game, Sleeper. Sleeper now has the marks up. They do have Boomer, though, so maybe sleep, Sleepy Time could make use of he this. He didn't even get the... There he goes. Okay. Oh, goodness. I got so move. worried. Sleepy Time down in the back, and he has to be revived. If he just crawls around, there we go. There's the revive. There's the up. Wolf Pack. There's four people on the home hill of Ghost Gaming, and Sleeper's going to try to put some heavy damage in with that mark. So look at Sleepy posturing on the windowsill. Golden Boy, this is a good position for them because they have control over basically the top half of the map where the marks and the boom shot are. So I like this positioning. Icy, though, wanted to put a little bit more pressure on him. Trying to punish them. But they are going to win in a few seconds. You see it at the top of your screen. 25 seconds, and Reciprocity will get their second round win. Is it enough, though? Are they too far down the rabbit hole, as I had mentioned before? The score is 6-1. Ghost Gaming is at game point. This extended pause has certainly been painful for them, and it has not paid off that time they took to talk because Ghost Gaming has been riding this momentum. Thankfully, Sleepy Time Franchise and Icy, they're going to find their marks. And Reciprocity finally managed to put a round win on the board after losing so many straight. 6-2. to two. And I see us going deeper into the cavern that is the comeback and i see franchise stand you, you up are immediately a very positive and ambitious person my friend. I, look when you got somebody like franchise icy on that team when you've got two veterans who have won championships with a young gun in rushies who's won a championship sleepy time the perfect soldier i like to call him he's willing to do whatever needs to be done for his team who has won a championship they are bringing the correct pieces to the puzzle into this fight and that's all well and good my friend but let's not forget that was Gears 4. This is Gears 5. It is a completely different experience. And based off what we saw yesterday, Ghost Gaming looked dominant, and they look dominant here. I will say, though, and I like the counterpoint, I, I like the idea that this is it. Maybe Reciprocity starts to bring this back. And they both have drop shots. The tone of the game is certainly going to change here. Colin, you may be right here, my friend. I may have to, may have to you know... I'm, I'm a Take hopeful, I'm a hopeful have, human being. That's I all. I'm a hopeful the, human the being. You the chin, you know? <laughs> I, just, I like it. I want the best possible scenario, and there oh. ain't nothing better than a round 13. Desidine, watch your head, baby, because there's a drop shot, and now you've given Rushies a boom. So, again, Reciprocity, early control over this round. Yeah, but Reciprocity did lose two players very quickly. Just as that drop shot connected, they lost two players. There goes the boom shot. It's going to lay down some damage, but it is not enough to connect with the kill. He's got to be careful. Sleepy Time pushes up. Marks a with a couple of shots connecting. He's so and now weak. They're so trapped. They are trapped like absolute rats in the back of the cinema area. They have nowhere to go and nowhere to hide. You see four members that have a possible line of sight on them, and they're able to move up and out of there because I think somebody lost a fight on the opposite side of the map or maybe got pushed back. Sleefer taking Franchise's face right off, though, with that marks up. And think, had Rushies gotten the boom shot kill, that player would be a man down and would have to deal with two members of Reciprocity. Little details can dramatically impact the game, and that is why I love Gears. Snub shots going out. That pistol's quite accurate, but if you're trying to shoot that far along with that kind of rate of fire, it's real hard to continue to tap it and keep that thing yep. centered on a body. And look who's that. Sleefer with the Marksa. Punishing any player that tries to get ambitious like Rushies did with that snub. I, I love the... Franchise throws the flash, tries to blind Sleeper. Rezik and Icy have to push up for this now. Icy big time down. He's not going to get that on the first shot. He has to go in for the kill. Franchise rushes in, ah. and Icy suffers as well. So Ghost Gaming set the trap. They spring it, and all that is found is more death for Reciprocity. There's another one down on the ground, 40 huge, seconds. Huge play there by Dezo. You think that it's all going to go south for him, but instead he gets the first kill and then holds on long enough to allow his teammates to help him out. 
Rezik's gonna be tucked away, tucked away in the corner. Headshot from Sleeper. Oh, would you look at that? He's got the marks up once again in green, and he's making Reciprocity pay dearly for giving him access to this power weapon in his hands, and that is gonna be it. Game one goes the way of Ghost Gaming GG 7-2. There goes all my hope, didn't it? I'm just saying, man. <laughs> look, look, I get it, right? We have we have legends on that stage, and I and I I'm whole I wholeheartedly agree with you. But the way that Ghost Gaming are playing this game, this goes right into their hands. They had the Marksa, they had the tools, they had all the toys that they could mess around with. That was the reason why they were able to come out on top with the victory. But while that one was a little bit of a long one, we managed to get there. Ghost Gaming picks up the win. Join us though, as game two starts. Starts right back up after this. Welcome back, everyone, to the Boost Mobile Caster Desk here at the Elite Gears 5 Summer Series Invitational. Reciprocity, while they are a fantastic team, they are going to find themselves down in this series 1-0 to zero against the Latin American Ghost Gaming Squad. Golden Boy alongside with Colin here. Colin, you wanted it. You wanted to come back. Unfortunately, it didn't happen, brother. Look, I always want to see more rounds of Gears of War. This is a sneak peek weekend. The game hasn't released yet. We're going to have to go back to waiting like everybody else after this weekend's over with. So, of course, I want 13 rounds i want I all the it. gears five i can get i respect it my friend and maybe this map is gonna bring us that because we're gonna be going over to one of the new maps that have been added to gears five it's gonna be training grounds and this is a different type of map than what we saw earlier on district district a map that allows you it has some close quarters engagements this map a little more on the open side colin uh, yeah, this map is built so beautifully just outside for my lore heads in the crowd, the House of Sovereigns, the place where Marcus was put on trial early in the story of Gears of War. They're rebuilding the area. This is also where the boot camp mode will take place. And you see as you travel across this map, you've got some good high ground up there on the overlook. It's a big U that you fight over. That can give you sight lines to both first half home hills. On the opposite side, you've got where the first two half home hills are. I like to call those heaven because if you've got heaven, you can look down on that E hill in the second half. You can look across the map at Overlook to keep that fight kind of centered on some Nasher play because nobody's going to be able to look over the cover at you. So you've got to get the high grounds. Mm -hmm. And just like my main man, Obi-Wan, said, don't try it. Yeah. You, I have the high ground. I have the high ground, Anakin. Very true, my friend. High ground is key in a game like Gears of War where you have a lot of vision because of the third person camera and also the way that the Lancers, they're just heavy. They, they, they hit you like a hammer and you don't know where it came from. But here we go, we're now into the action as we're gonna be on board with Icy. Let's see what he can do. This scuffle is going to happen over by the neutral, as always. And this is where Ghost Gaming, who are going to be in the blue in the COG uniforms, have shined in the past. Reciprocity, they're going to get run over here. Franchise, that's going to be Chaos, who picks up two. Franchise not able to stay alive there. And they'll be wiped away. That's four players down for Rec immediately. The initial battle won in game one reflects here in game two. So Icy came off spawn. Nobody else spawned up, though. Icy burnt a uh, burnt spawn, so he'll get it right back. He'll go down to four. He'll go right back to five. But the train and the, the hype has not stopped for Ghost Gaming. Already. You can hear them getting up and getting loud. I'm pretty sure the crowd is still chanting for them. They want their boys from Ghost to pull away with this one just as easy as they did in map number one. You know, to reflect on this Ghost Gaming team and, and what they've managed to accomplish in the short time that they've been together, we have the pleasure of being in Mexico City watching what this ghost team meant to the fans in Mexico City when they came out in droves to support this team. Anyone that was in that ghost team 
they were uh, chaos is Puerto Rican, but for that for that weekend, <laughs> he was an honorary Mexican. That, that's basically how much they love this roster. Reciprocity, though, this is a team and an organization with a lot of fans and a lot of people who believe in the likes of franchise and icy, and they have every reason to do so. This is only round one. Certainly not going to be out of it quite yet, folks. But this initial, this is where I fear for reciprocity. And right now, they have that slight upper hand by forcing them over to the overlook, the U. That's where they're going to be position here can they pick up that first blood though so i want to go back to real quick i want to just point this out so that we are certain on it in the first map ghost gaming took the early advantage because of the utility they gave their front spawns guess what reciprocity did here in map number two gave utility to their front spawns makes sense man you got to give your in the early rounds this is a utility game we're clearly seeing this come to fruition here it's going to be two down for ghost gaming Three, as a matter of fact, you see them on the left Rushies side. Consume. And Rushies is going for it, living up to the name, man, the Rushman. But he's getting cross. He's got to be careful. Oh, look at the support, though. Oh. Rushy had some help, and he was able to challenge that fight. And now they're going to push on forward, neutralize C. But Ghost Gaming, they're going to be coming off of the respawn. Rushy's having to back away. Domination in effect in a few seconds here. Circling around. Rushy's manages to get one down, has the meat shield. And this could very well be Reciprocity picking up this round win. And there, ooh, the break comes right at the nick of time. But they're going to be in a position, though, Reciprocity, to win this game in a minute. So they're going to have to, Reciprocity is going to have to fly across the map right now. Rezik, sleepy time. They're going to fly over here to Franchise. Franchise, beautiful positioning on the top of that overlook. You saw it yesterday when Rushies was getting as many kills as he was yep. on the second half home hill. He had Franchise in that same exact position with a Lancer out. So this is setting up for success right now for Reciprocity, at least in this round number two. He's going to get flown out, though, and taken out. So Golden Boy, can they answer back? Nice two-piece, but he doesn't get the kill, does he? Ghost he did, he did, he did. Ghost recognized that the thing Reciprocity does so well, and they did it in Gears 4, and they're going to do it here as well. It's the positioning game. When they have an opportunity to get angles on you, they will make you pay. And that was something that Ghost needed to stop right away. Franchise looked away for one second, and it was that Gears timing. They just flew right at him, and he had no time to adjust. So Rushies franchise they take back their home hill and i think that's the better play for them they're gonna have to secure this they're gonna need to fight one more here comes a third member all spawn for reciprocity as well as a fourth but now help. rushes is left by himself nobody could posture on that back wall fast enough to help they just need this we one go. hill and the swarm domination goes in and that's it reciprocity managed to answer back after falling in the initial against ghost in round one so the way they won that round was not by a triple cap domination they won by an elimination domination one of the new ways you can win in gears five we will revisit it for all you at home if you are able to swiftly and quickly wipe away the lives that your team is currently on they have three seconds they have a little bit of a heartbeat to say, do I waste it? Do I come back? Do I try to fight this off? Mm -hmm. If they do not make that decision, if they do not respawn back up, you go ahead and get that round, and there's no need for you to cap that third hill. Some more utility is going to be placed as reciprocity. They have dropped, I believe that is going to be uh, Flash flashes, flashbangs <laughs> on each side. So we're going right back into the utility game here. So if this is a big round, if Ghost wins this round, they have the option to place first they can then build their home into that marksa that deadly de or they can build it up closer to a marksa and try to get that in the hands again of sleeper if they lose the round that gives reciprocity a chance to continue to put the marksa somewhere else and continue to make this fight and keep this fight decently even because you know that they want to take that marksman weapon and put it in the hands of one of these players from ghost gaming rushies has the right hand advantage over here on the corner and so far, so good for Reciprocity. They've managed to just force them back and have a little bit of a positioning advantage. And they're going to get around together, but Identives is going to team kill Chaos. As they came around the corner, they forced the shot out of Identives and made him pay for it. And then Ghost Gaming, they bring it on back here. And it's going to be Dezo, who picks up a double of his own over by the Overlook. And that now sets up Ghost Gaming for success.
Ghost Gaming, every time you think somebody is not about to push you and get you, you are just got Lancer out. You have no idea. The third member's coming. The fourth member's coming. He's waiting in the wings. Oh! And Sleefer goes absolutely massive in that engagement. What a clutch play for Sleefer. That was a classic game of tug of war that we saw with Nasher. So it was a very, very gruesome and kind of gory game of tug of war. Certainly not one that I played when I was in public school, but it was one nonetheless that was won by Ghost Gaming. Reciprocity now have to figure out where they're going to try and, and, and they're trying get to flip the, the map. Yeah. They're trying to flip the map. Where they're going to get the upper hand here. Look at this. Look at this. Little Fright Train action. All three of them. Wolf packing together. Ghost Gaming has been better at the Wolf Pack in map number one. Reciprocity's trying to answer that back with the Wolf Pack of their own. You see three members of Reciprocity on that A hill right now. One for support. Throwing a flash early on in those stairs. But he floods into a monkey Ooh. who was waiting in the wings for a shot for Sleepy to push. Oh, no. Rushy styles it back. Reciprocity can win this in just over a minute, but it's certainly not going to keep on going like this. The flashbang comes out, though. Where they say, oh, no, Monkeys is going to chunk Rushies. Back to the respawn you go. Franchise, not going to be long for this world. He's in the DBNO state, and we'll get swept away by Monkeys. And as I said, that Dezo cleans up Icy. That's going to leave Sleepy Time and Rezik, the last two players standing here. So They're going to invest into the respawn. They so are Colin. investing. Yes, we are round three. We're in the mid-round of the first half. You see here, a little early investment coming in. I think Reciprocity knows just how dangerous a round loss could be for them because that gives up that initial weapon pick mm -hmm. in between the rounds. This is a crucial round for Reciprocity. They need to win this. They could not allow Ghost Gaming to have a smidgen of an advantage in this next round. Here comes Rush, he's around the corner, and Chaos was unaware. He was unaware, and now Dezo, he was trapped between a rock and a hard place, and a bunch of shotguns were looking right at him. But Ghost Gaming, they're fitting to win this one in a few seconds, and now the domination, reciprocity. It was a crucial round win, and they got it. They managed to win two back-to-back. -back. There they go, standing up. Let's take a moment to start and look at what happened. Rushies, he goes on a flank. He goes by the underneath the overlook route. He goes straight by that closet. That's what I like to dub it. It's a little itty bitty pocket underneath the overlook where a power weapon can be placed on the center line, yeah. which is what Reciprocity is hovering over right now. He gets to the stairs. Instead of pushing forward, instead of possibly rushing into that fight, he waits for them to waste all their flashes. He sees the first two members possible that he could get to with Lancer out. He waits for them to go peek four shots, then pushes in. As soon as they go to peek for shots, he knows it's going to take too long for them to adjust to him. All he has to do is hit the shot, which he does. Interesting turn of events here. So the shock grenade has now been placed for Sleefer and, and Ghost Gaming but they go for the Boltock pistol that will be given to Rushies on Reciprocity. So the Boltock pistol, in case anyone here is new watching for the first time, it's a weapon with headshot potential and it packs a punch. When you have a player with that Boltock, look out for them because they're gonna look to take some faces. Yeah, I think I heard Rushies ask somebody if they felt lucky when they placed down that Boltock because that thing is quite the magnum. And look at this, two members immediately down on the side of Ghost Gaming. So are we gonna see the exact flipped opposite? Will the momentum and the hype for reciprocity come out in their favor? Because you see two members of Ghost Gaming have a chance now to possibly reinvest. Monkeys will go down, so a third member could go down. One does reinvest. They're gonna try to fend off their home hill. It is Icy over there doing his damn just to make sure whatever happens goes in their favor. And Colin, I do want to make note of this as well, that when they had that that Boltock over by B, that player that was at the Overlook shredded because he was not only taking Lancer fire, but he was also getting chunked by that Boltock. Two players are going to go down now. It's going to be up to Monkeys. Can he be the hero that they need? He gets two, but it's not going to be enough. No, no, no. Reciprocity, we're having none of those shenanigans. And Wreck is going to go up now three to one. I'm trying my best to hear a little bit of some of the trash talk coming out. Fatal Strike, one of the most tenured players and coaches in the history of Gears. He's getting up, he's getting loud. If you ever need somebody to be a hype man for your team, if you ever need somebody to be able to pick you up, it can be him. 
I think they're asking him to uh, turn down the volume a little bit because I think they could hear him. They need a ref. Fatal Strike calling for a timeout. Something mm. has gone on. They've looked for a pause. Something's gone wrong with Rush. He's, uh, he's, he's looking for his mix amp. <laughs> oh, no. You, it, you hate to see it, folks. You get so into the game. You look at the other side of the stage. You're yelling at him. You're letting him know that you're, you're the boss here. And then you're so much of a boss, you disconnect your headset. Uh, you know, uh, I don't know. Happens to the best of us, people. Happens to the best of us. You know, I one time fell out of my chair in a competition. I'm not going to tell you when. I'm not going to tell you who I face off against. It was a rather embarrassing day. The chair broke. Look, thank from God. From my excitement. Thank God, though, that if anything weight. did go wrong with those headsets, we have the beautiful mix amp poppy shady himself in the house why, to why, help. why you gotta give shady credit because my man has been fixing headsets for it seems like longer than i've been alive <laughs> so, one you've only been alive for like 15 years this game isn't like actually good for you it's, here we go we're, 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 we're okay we're, it's, hey 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 <laughs> esrb ain't got no power over me <laughs> all right here we go folks he can hear now Reciprocity up 3-1. If you're just joining us, folks, Ghost Gaming, they managed to take game one, but it has been Reciprocity who have been in control in this game, and it is courtesy of this man right here, Rushy. So let's hear how the communication for Reciprocity is here on Training Grounds. Take through you. Take through you. I have it. I have it. Okay, okay. Cross take for you guys. I don't know what's coming. I'm pushing. I'm flash. Okay, hello. Right now, go. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Danny's full red. Danny's full red. Guys, there's three there. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I don't want to try. I don't want to try. I don't want to try. I'm behind you. Flash, be here. Flash. I know we're going to top. Three, three, three. I'm rotating. I'm rotating. I'm rotating. Somebody get out. Back up. Back up. I will. I will. Back up, boys. Back up, boys. I'm going to B, guys. Hold you. Hold you. I'm holding you. Hold you. Hard. Yeah, yeah. Got to push up. Got to push up. He's doing that corner. What's on the corner? What's up? It's all, it's all, it's all, it's I'm with you, I'm with you. No, no, there's two, there's two, there's two. I'm with you. There's three here, three here. here. I'm coming here. Here. I'm coming here. here. I can also shoot up top. We got it. I got that, I got that. Three on top, boys. Guys, we have the cap, we have the cap. We have the cap. Down, 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 reset. Rush, I'm down, be here. Guys. They're going to push you, they're going to push you. Rush, 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 you're the yes, I'm on the home, I'm on the home, I'm on the home. Oh, yes, yes, guys, I'm on the home. Look at, look at, look at, man. I'm going to home. He's hiding on home somewhere. I'm going to him back to me. Came back to me. I'm going to see him. 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 Nick, Nick, you want to go out? Let's get B. 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 Max to 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 B. Nice, he's melee, he's melee. Nice, they're out of the house. Nice, guys, push B, guys, let's get you. You guys are coming up. This one are you. Two of them dead. I think there's one BB. Make sure you guys kept B. No, no, we good, we good, we good. One's a win already. One's a win already. Watch your back, watch your back. I'm going to play two there, friend. Come to the street. I got him, I got him. Nice. Come on, come on. Go catch. The girls, the girls, the girls. They're hurt. They're hurt. Let's get to the rest. They're hurt. They're hurt. They're hurt. They're hurt. I got one of you guys on the hill. I got, I got. They're hurt. They're hurt. They're hurt. They're hurt. I got two guys. Guys, we need home. I'm going to push up, friend. I'm hitting them. They're hurt. That's all. That one. I got one. Fuck, bro. I'm full red. I'm full red. Yes, go. Let's do it. 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 Rush, I'm here, baby, I'm here. 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 I'm uh, bro, I'm hurt. I'm hurt. That I'm hurt. round did not go the way Reciprocity thought it would, especially after the way they cleared out B so elegantly. The issue was the follow-up. They needed to get a response at the home side, and it just wasn't happening. Ghost Gaming, they read that one like an open book.
So Ghost Gaming gets across the map. They do a perfect rotation over to this, the home side of Reciprocity. Reciprocity has one member still sitting on their home hill. He goes to get the first shot on, hits it a little decent. You see through the hit registration, he does hit a few pellets, but it's not hard. Those little circles aren't that big. It's not that hard of a shot. He tries to get the second one in, goes for a little shimmy shake, gets down, and now Reciprocity is basically playing the flood game. Send one after the next to try to make the hero play happen instead of being able to pull back, regroup, get them off their home hill. Looking now at the respawns, we're into round number six. And after this, we will have a reset of the respawns. That is what happens at the halftime. It is not like Gears 4, where all the weapons on the map would reset. Instead, all the respawns will reset to five. So if you want to invest and pick up this round win in your Ghost Gaming, now's the time to go ahead and do so. A few players are going to go down. Those shot grenades, look how powerful they are, forcing all these players to be roughed up and put into a situation you certainly did not expect now. Gonna have four players down. Franchise is gonna be the last player standing. Domination and no one will elect to come back in because I don't think anyone had a, t had a chance to do it. No, nobody had a chance to do it. They died literally so quickly within one another except for the first icebreaker and the 10 seconds before it could even get to zero for him to respawn. The round and the three seconds was over with. We go into the half tied up three to three knotted up map number two already down by one reciprocity what is your answer i don't know i i honestly do not sleeper know for marksa marksa for a sleeper at the homes that that is scary because it doesn't matter how much ammo is in it it could be a little less than if it was placed in the mid it's still deadly in his hands more shocks are going to be sent out flashes as well clearing players away Rushies and company will have the back here. Icy will be down. And he's got to wait for this shock so he can pick up his teammate. Look at the damage that it's doing to him. Okay, there you go. So you picked up your teammate. You got Franchise waiting in the wings. And you also have Rezik, who's going to be supporting you. Boom shots up for grabs. This is not where the hill is going to be located. But that boomer is going to be very important. There goes Franchise. That's the reason why he's got the name. He makes the plays and opens things up, allowing his teammates to pick up a few more kills. And Ghost Gaming now have to regroup here as they lost three players. Perfectly placed flashbangs to stop that initial push and allow for Franchise to get the big flank off. Monkeys gets taken out now by Icy. Identives has a chance to respawn. He and Dezo will eventually finally respawn. Monkeys with seven seconds left on his respawn. So early in this round, even though the point advantage in favor of Ghost, the power weapon and the two home hill setup will be in favor of Reciprocity. And you see three, four members on the opposite side of the map. All five members now, I believe, on the opposite side of the map where the E-Hill is for Ghost Gaming. They got to decide what the play is going to be because you have Sleefer with this Marksa who has managed to get a lot of connections in the past, take down a lot of foes. But is the opening there? Will Reciprocity allow him to put that weapon to use. Sleeper's using that Marksa right now in a defensive position. He's staying on the side of the home hill, that heaven spot that I talked about earlier that gives you the great sight lines to every single mm -hmm, part mm -hmm. of the map. There he is in the heaven spot, the host spot, if you will. And you see he's going to try to get these long range shots across the map. Big shots on Sleepy Time. Gets to take him out. Franchise is going to have to make something happen, and he does another DK to his name. Franchise has been a star in this round. He had that flank that allowed them to be able to win boom shot. And now, once again, putting his team in a position for success. They're going to win in under a minute if it keeps going like this. Ghost Gaming have not had a response, not had an opportunity to be able to push up. Now you're starting to see that push develop. They're forcing the activity over by Depot. You're still going to have some members of Reciprocity left alive. Monkey's Chaos, they're going to be down. They got to clean up those kills. It's, remember, Warzone settings. Identives pushes forward here. Now Icy, oh, but Identives does get his man. And Identives does go down for that, leaving Sleepy Time to be by himself, and Sleeper makes him pay. You're alone. He doesn't need his teammate. He's going to chunk you with the Nasher. You're going to have to win now off of time. Cog Team, 44 seconds, are going to have to hold this. That push put Reciprocity again on their back foot, ladies and gentlemen. And they got the boom pendulum shot. swung completely in favor of Ghost Gaming. Here comes Fran. He's going to push through. The boom shot's waiting for somebody to push, but he doesn't know where that flash came from, so he has to check his own surroundings. Way to check your back, big man. 
franchise almost down though on that they back hallway. E. They decapped E. Swarm now. Look at the time. Swarm 15, 15 seconds. seconds and they could win this one out. Let's see if it's gonna come to fruition here. As Dezo, he has other plans. He wants to try and stop this one. This player's gonna be right next to him. Can he get through to make the break? He gets the kill on Franchise, who's had a stellar round. Is it enough though? Is it enough to make the break to stop this, to stop the bleeding from happening? No, reciprocity, no, oh no! We gotta oh my kill. goodness gracious! No, 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 Icy's having none of those shenanigans. He stops it. Wait, 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 is it gonna be enough? The cap happens. There you go. I was worried that Dezo was gonna push up in time and prevent Icy, but what a stop that was. If you ever wanted something to increase the intensity of an already unbelievably intense matchup of Gears 5, that countdown timer we got that tells us who's gonna win and how many seconds away. That's it. I, that's basically that's it, counting Chief. down to when the heart attack comes. That's it, Chief. I, I love, I love, I love that countdown. Shout outs to whoever in the dev room came up with that one. <laughs> Shout outs to because him. Because I can't do math. So thank you so much for doing the math for me. Smoke grenade has been placed on the home side for reciprocity. Ghost Gaming, they're gonna give Identive utility. And Identive's now, I think he's gonna have himself the a, a, a flash. And Identive's down to two already. Ooh. The captain, El Capitan, is down to two respawns at this point in the half. After the first round, he invested four That's lives. That's crazy. That's crazy how many lives he's put into this game. Into that one round. We haven't really seen that yet. All these teams have been so conservative with their... Chaos is down. They're going to clean him up. So I, Monkeys is over there with Dezo. Identifus is over there with Dezo and is going to have to conserve whatever life he does have. Because Identifus if he's taken like out early... Who doesn't have yeah, to respawn. He, he's got he's to run. He's got to do his best to keep himself alive because if he gets taken off the map, I believe you're cutting a bit of the head off a snake if you, you know, appreciate the analogy. Look at Identifus. Has to play slow. Sleefer with the Marksa. Monkeys just gets killed. Monkeys right. has four Down respawns. Identives is going to be out to it. He is no more. He, he's, he's slowly losing those respawns, that resource that is so valuable. And he, I think he has to invest it. Oh, Icy shouldn't have gone down right there, but Rezik, thank goodness gracious, he is right behind him, holding his hand a little bit, allowing him to get some help. Reciprocity has no hills, no points to their name, but they tried to posture for what would have been another double home hill setup. You see Identives hiding underneath the overlook here. Sleefer still in the heaven spot, trying to figure out where the members of Reciprocity are either going off respawn or are already at on the map, where the push may be coming from. And if you're Reciprocity, I think you just continue to use your power position in the overlook to go for the double home hill. Few players to look out for here. Sleefer with the mark set yet again. You have to continuously reference that because of how good he is with that gun. And then Identives, one respawn. Actually, Identives and Chaos, one respawn remaining. And we're not, we're in the meat and potatoes of this game here, man. We haven't even gotten to, we haven't even gotten to the salad. We haven't even gotten our appetizers, but I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for dessert. I want a round 13. Here we go. Sleeper rotates over, and that's perfect position for that Marksa. Rushies is going to get one, but the trades are not coming out in their favor. The cross, Sleeper. The cross. The long distance cross preventing Sleeper from being an impact there, Colin. They didn't even decap the hill. They know they got to take oh. Sleeper out of this, but Sleeper gets one over the cover. He's going to oh. get a second on Rushies. Sleepy time. Left to his own accord. He's going to get taken out as well. This is a huge opportunity for Ghost Gaming, who now can march through the map. Can they make the plays? Monkeys, he's gonna come back in. Chaos, he has to make a choice. Identives, one respawn to his name. Does he do Hiding it? on the U. Hiding on the U, they're, they're waiting for the boom shot. This. They're gonna Five have to do this 4v5. Five. Five seconds to the boom shot. Five seconds to the boom shot. They're gonna have to do this 4v5. Is it enough? Are the four players of Ghost Gaming without Chaos good enough to take out all five members of Reciprocity? They are. They are because they've, they've got those shocks. The shocks.
prevented the push, Golden Boy. If you've got the utility, you've got some control. Lane priority is of the highest priority, and Ghost Gaming is doing their best to make sure they can shut this one down, and they do. Four to four, we go deep into this map number two. A lot of decisions had to have been made there. They needed to decide if they wanted to invest chaos into it. They had to decide what the play was regarding Sleefer and the Marksa. There is so much. This is why Gears 5 is so awesome and the changes they've made to Escalation. I know it sounds like I'm making a sales pitch here, people, but I've been commentating for, I feel like, a century, and this is just so cool to look at because there's so many micro decisions that are being made and each and every individual interaction matters and carries that much more weight. Well, we all, we've always got to talk about lane priority, and I want to make a big emphasis on this. They didn't bring Chaos back because when they said, all right, we've got shocks, you can basically choke point a full lane. They're going to have to rotate across the map through the E-Hill because they couldn't come through the Overlook because the shocks would choke them into a position where they're so damaged coming through that position that they'd be easily downed and out in that late game situation. Huge round win for Ghost Gaming now. Can Reciprocity respond? Identifies the team kill again, and Reciprocity pushes on through, wipes the floor with Ghost Gaming. The Ghostbusters, if you will. I, they need to hold off. I think this is a round where you just see if Sleeper throws away his life, if maybe Chaos or somebody invests another life. I would go ahead and call this economy. Don't get on the hill, big boy. See what they do. There you go. That's it. They did not invest. They're they just going to let it let it rock, right? There's no reason for them to do it. A 42-second round win under a minute for Reciprocity, and it was one off of the initial. Started with Identives taking out his own teammate again. That's the second time it's happened in that shuffle over by the boom shot. And now the Marksa has been placed for Reciprocity. And I think they might... There it is. They lowered the respawn time. The marks that goes from a two-minute respawn down to one minute. Every single minute that this round will go on, Sleeper can get more ammo. Or someone else can get Somebody another Somebody else can pick a second marks up. You've made this such a deep meta. But look at that. Based on that economy round, Ghost has given up round, that round number nine. They go down 5-4, but Identives is back up to three respawns because he didn't waste one. He didn't continue to lose his life. So Identives trying Woo. to build his respawns up for a possible round 13. He almost the dropped flank. his teammate. Three in a row. Franchise making the franchise plays. The flank around the corner. But now Monkeys needs to run around this like a jungle gym. Is he able to stay alive? He's going to bounce around, but Rezik is going to just clip him right there. For some reason, somehow, some way, Reciprocity is finding the correct angles to make it confusing. Make the shots hurt a little more. Make them make him second guess their Nasher position on the map. But Ghost Gaming answers right back. The two members off respawn flood to the E-Hill, and Dezenide will have control of it. Now Identives, they're going to try to push them off of their own home hill. Look at these Lancer angles. You can never count out Ghost Gaming, Colin. That's why they're still in this fight here. Their issue respawns. They continuously have to put in more respawns, which is something that has been hurting them this whole game. Chaos pops up from behind and catches Franchise while he wasn't looking. And here's the posture. Look at this. Flashbang out. Rushies has to back away. Chaos is looking for a way to get shots in the back of the two members that were at their home hill for reciprocity. But the reverse, Mr. Krabs! A oh, classic no. Gears 4! Mr. Can't. Krabs! Dezo's got to clutch it up, but Dezo's going to get stopped. Sleepy time is there and saves the round for his teammates. That's a throwback play. Identives, Marksa in hand. That one minute Marksa respawn has already been felt in this round. Another Marksa, which means another opportunity for Ghost Gaming. They're down in this series, or they're down in this game one round, but they're up in the series one zero. 
I like what I see from Identives. He's only down to, he's down to one respawn. He has two lives to live in this. He can't throw himself away. They've made the call to send him over there, They're trading it, it to out sleeper. to Sleeper. Yes, but you're going to leave Identives in a support position. You can't put him in trouble again. Oh, big, big flash. flash. Big flash. Big, big shot. Big stun. Monkeys pushes in, gets one kill. Can he bounce around to pick up another? He's going to get stuffed right there by Sleepy Time, Colin. Identives now back into the fight. He came over for support, but he gets cleaned up. So now Identives down to no response if he invests another life. He came back for support, but instead finds himself on life support. Not good for Identives. If they win this, it's going to be game point for Reciprocity. We can see a tied series, and Ribs can get his wish of a game three. And we always want to give Ribs what Ribs wants. We want that game, that map number three for him. Chaos trying to go for another big overextension flank. He gets double shot down by Rezik. Rezik wins that fight. And you will see that Reciprocity will go to map point. Golden Boy, my goodness gracious, good God almighty. I'll say it once, I'll say it again. I hate to reuse the phrase, but to reference my colleague, good old JR Jim Ross. Ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a slobber knocker here. I would say business is about to pick up, but, but that business, business has been rolling since round one of map one. Right. The stocks are looking good right now. If your <laughs> investment is killing, you're looking good. I thought we talked about this yesterday. There's no 401ks in the coalition of ordered governments. This is very true, this is very <laughs> true. There's, there is none. There ain't no retirement fund. There ain't no blue, blue cross, blue shield. It ain't happening. Boom shot. Is that a boom shot place or a boom shot lock? Uh, it has to be a placement. They've already both used their disables. Both teams have used That's their right. disable. Sorry, sorry. So they've added one round to the boom shot. Yeah, because you need you need more boom. You need the two shots instead of just the one. It's it's got to be about that fight now. And if I'm Ghost Gaming, what they're gonna place here in that middle? Frags, Ooh. more utility, more crowd control, more ways for them to make what they wish happen. Have we seen frags yet? I we have. I we, have. Okay, I, I haven't. No, we did last night. And simplicity, simplicity put them because they wanted to use the shot grenades right. to get them in position for the frags, or use the frags to get them out of position into a lancer. For all the marbles, for reciprocity, they could tie this series up one to one, take us to a game three. Or will Ghost Gaming get another win? Dezo, Dezo calls out the flank. He recognized the flank from four down, franchise. Four down. He wasn't having any of those shenanigans, Colin. He ain't having it. He stopped it right in its tracks. Dezonide's going to fly to this home hill. He's going to apply the pressure because once with the double home hill set, or once with the E and the home hill of your opponent, it's easy for you to go back and get your own. Sleepy time. They're going to have up. to push this E. They're going to have to push E hill. They've given up boom shot. So they deny that domination for a second. They go back into this one. No more nades. No more nades. Sleeper's down. They got to make this push. They got to get Sleeper off the map. The boom shot comes in, but it doesn't get the kill. He doesn't have an angle. He doesn't have an he angle. Goes down. He doesn't have an angle. But Sleeper is out. He's out. Somebody see picks it up. Somebody's going to have to pick up Sleepy. Idenis is looking right at him. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. I dare you. He's, he's challenging go for it to go for it. Go for it. He, if he slides in, he can get the cover. There it is. So you get the cover pickup. No, I think Identives... Did Identives pull the boom shot back out ever again? Does he have a shot in the boom still? I know he used... I know he used at least one. one, but there's two, so I'm unsure if he had a secondary boom. If I feel like if he did, he would have tried to use it on that cover he to get the double more. kill. He has one more. There we go. So I think that might be a misstep. He didn't try to shoot the second boom because he could have come away with a double in that position. And you're leaving Identives, who has two response to his name, in a perfect position to play okay, defense. Okay, sure. But... And, and the counter to this, they have E. They're tucked away in their corner. If they all try and push out that boom shot, that boom shot's gonna. They, they, they're, they're scared. They're scared of that boom shot. Incoming flashback. Here they go. Maybe this marks has see, gotta land. We can see some fireworks here from Identives in a second. He's gotta use it. He got a lot of players There's inside. There is. Identives gets the double kill on Rush. He's an icy. He called it. You said it, Colin, and there it happened. Wow. Perfect play. Big play That's there from perfect. Identives. I can't imagine a world where Identives and the communication was so precise that it came out and happened just as they drew it up. But my God, we're living in it because whatever play they called, it worked to perfection. And now at 225 to 97, it looks like this could be round five under the belt of Ghost Gaming, and they will not invest again. Rezik trying what? to get another kill to cause that resource gain. Oh, man. 
I am too old for this, okay? <laughs> I'm too fat for this. <laughs> this My <game>. cholesterol. <laughs> Man, well, listen here, okay? I saw you eating those Chex Mix. You got to stop it. I, uh, but it's hard. They're delicious. I, I think that that one extra boom shot, that was the difference Pivotal. maker. How crazy is that? Just one extra shot changed the complexion drop shot. of that round. That will both teams place a drop shot for their favor? We do. We have double drops. We have it being fought over a two-shot boom shot, ladies and gentlemen. Three, as I like to just call rocket launchers of some form, are on one side of I'll, the map. You know, in, in, in Overwatch, when you got a lot of things that are going to go boom, you call it a clown fiesta. That's what we're looking at right now. We're going to have a good old-fashioned clown fiesta. I need my red nose. Explosions all over the place. This is what you live for, folks. Dezo franchise, they're going to have the drop shots for their respective teams. Looking at Dezo's perspective. No. He didn't get the kill. Dezo got the oh, kill. He got the, he got the kill on Rezik. Rezik was happen? on that cover. Rezik was on that cover and got killed. Identives is being cleaned up. The boom shot's down. It's on the back. It's on the ground. No, it wasn't. It was a pocket. It was pocketed. So now Rushy's left to his own accord. He's gonna have to run away because three members of Ghost Gaming are still over there, ladies and gentlemen. The Fourth of July might have been just a few weeks ago, but it's still fireworks here in the E League studio. Dezo's gonna be up top, lingering about, waiting to see if anyone's gonna try and push around, challenge. He's gonna have that snub pistol that will provide some support at the long range. If Ghost Gaming win this and bring us to a round 13, I will be. I'll need a defibrillator. I will be, I will be beside myself. Faklempt, dare I say. <laughs> if you're beside yourself, who's going to sit in the third chair that doesn't exist? <laughs> I don't know, man. I do not know. Chaos. He did find the boom shot on the ground, ladies and gentlemen. It was one not shot. pocketed. One he has shot. one shot. You kind of just got to let this moment live here because you know Ghost Gaming, this is their moment. If they if they pull this to a round 13, that is going to just crush the morale. The boom came out and connected. The boom was used correctly. It got Rushies off the map again. So you're down in a 5v4. If you're reciprocity, you cannot push across to break a hill. You have to find a pick. And by pick, I mean you have to get one member of Ghost to make a mistake, and I don't think that's going to happen. Also, another thing of note here, in 21 seconds, the boom shot is going to be in play. And look who's hanging out over there. It's Ghost Gaming. They have control of the boom shot area, Colin. Chaos waiting for the respawn because it's easier for him to just pick up that ammo. They gotta make there a you move. go. They gotta make a move. They pinched them. They pinched them around. Franchise went for it, but they read it. Now there's gonna be a challenge up above. Can Rezik make the play? Rezik gets the kill. The boom shot's gonna be in play now. Rezik better have some broad shoulders. Nope. They are not there, ladies and gentlemen. He crumbles. And now you see the E-Hill goes back in favor. They need to be able to hold this off because now Monkeys has a fresh, brand new, off the rack boom shot. Here it comes. He's going to try. Oh, ho, ho. I thought he was going to try to connect with it. He's got two shots to work 30 with. 30 seconds. They have a drop shot. Both teams now. Reciprocity could win this game in 30 seconds. Sleepy time kills Dezo with frag grenades. Boom shot doesn't hit the mark. One more remaining. Go oh, chaos. He kills his own teammate, but he gets sleepy in the process. They're going to neutralize it and actually get the down there. So they're still Swarm still wins. They need a break. They have to get a break. This is it. 30 seconds remaining or else reciprocity that will last win this boom. game. The last boom has to be used perfectly again. Bang, baby! He gets the connection! 20 seconds remaining. Monkeys needs to make the play. Rushies is looking right at him. Is it enough? Can he be the hero? No! He gets crushed and reciprocity. They're bringing this to a game three. Jordan J. Ribs wanted a map three. And guess what we will get, baby? A map three. Congratulations. We will see this go the distance. I cannot believe what we just saw, but folks, we're going to a game three. Reciprocity managed to make it happen. Seven, five, game three. You do not want to miss this. If you do, you're crazy. We'll see you soon. I want their heads, boys. Every one of them. Sit down, little kids. Little boys. Good job. 
tensions are high here at the E-League studio as Ghost Gaming managed to pick up game number one, but it will be reciprocity with the bounce back, winning game two in dramatic fashion. Everyone is wearing their emotions on their sleeve as they should, because this matchup has been absolutely insane. Welcome back, everyone, here to the Boost Mobile Caster Desk. Golden Boy alongside with Colin. Colin, are you undoing your tie now, finally, bud? Is this, is this where we get casual, Colin? We ain't never getting casual, Colin, baby. I'm going to stay right <laughs> here in this suit, but I just need to loosen it up. We're going map three. It's the first time we'll get to see two teams put it all on the line here at E-League. Uh, when Forge Blitz, a favorite from Gears 4, making a return here in Gears 5, also known as Forge Redux. That will be the battleground for game number three. I do not even know what to expect here, man. It's just, it, it's just pandemonium. It's like somebody opened up Pandora's box on us. You didn't know what we were going to get, and all we've gotten is some of the best Gears 5 we could ever ask for. And I don't think I want it to end. Can we play a best of 40? <laughs> You're crazy. Best of 50? You're crazy. I, I, I can't get enough. Look at the man on the screen right now. Franchise, he's looking, hit the screen. He's talking about possible strats. He knows this map inside and out. He played Forge Redux a lot in the last iteration of the game. Yes, there are changes, but the concept of the map will remain the same. You know, Colin, you sound just so into this and so excited. Good news is the league team recognized it as well. Look at that. <laughs> Out of your seat. Honestly, I'm glad that the seat was there for the both of us or else we would have just been knocked off on the stage here. I've, I would have been dead. I'd have gone straight over the stairs all the way down to my demise, but I can't help it. I can't contain myself. I know the people here in the audience feel the same way. Those watching at home, if your blood's not pumping, check your pulse. This is Championship Sunday of the first Gears 5 tournament. And it certainly is not disappointing. That, that's what makes this so amazing to watch because these teams have had the same amount of time with this game. And it ain't a lot few days that they've had to work with Gears 5 and a lot of changes have been implemented and you're seeing how these players are adjusting and adapting on the fly time and time again. This is why these eight teams that we had here in Atlanta, Georgia were the best eight teams in Gears and now we're off to familiar territory here with Forge. And one of the things you have to keep in mind, in Gears 4, the respawns were pretty much stacked on top of one another, and you had the ability to kind of push one or two people to that top spawn faster than anybody else. And you see on the side of Ghost Gaming, even though Identives is playing one of those back three spawns, they still forced him to the top control room fight because he's that important in it. Rushies all by himself in the back pillar area will get crossed out, crossed down, and taken out. The teamwork from Ghost Gaming has been something we've harped on so many times and for due reason. They coordinate so well. They are of one mind. And when they click, it is dangerous for their opponents. Reciprocity, they will need to ride that momentum from game two. What they accomplished there, no easy feat, considering that Ghost Gaming had managed to fell glory 14-0, 14 rounds straight, slapping. Glory winning that 2-0 victory. So what Reciprocity has done here certainly is something that you have to be proud of if you're wreck. When Franchise gets that down and he pushes up, but he's full red. He knows he can't poke out of the incinerator now. Here comes Identive on a big flank. Two kills to his name already. He's looking for a third. They're going to give it to him anyway. All the momentum from game two doesn't matter when you have Identive slaying the way he is. And Dezo, he's just letting him know. We see on your screen Sleefer looking for something underneath that table. I think he might have been going for a mark, so, but he comes away with a water bottle. He said, I need a little drinky drink right here in between two rounds, one and two. He's going to compose himself. They have first pick over the map. I think one of the things you're going to see Ghost Gaming do is stick with what got them here and go utility. And there you have it. Makes sense. Utility has been the go-to. It has been the thing that has led them the most success and reciprocity has recognized that so they're going to give franchise utility as well 
And we saw the same initial fight. Everybody still at five respawns, so nobody reinvested. But look, in Gears 5, we have changed eliminations. It no longer means just pure kills. It means EKIA, basically, baby. You, if you look at somebody, an extra shot or two, you get count for that elimination. Identive's already a part of six kills this for the side. Game. It is a team game, and it is about contribution, Colin. That's right. Identives gets a down on Franchise up top, Again. gets him out. Dezo takes Icy. They are owning that top control room fight right now. I feel like I'm watching Gears 4 here with the way that Identives is patrolling through that control tower, not allowing anyone any kind of quarter. Rezik again finds himself tucked away in the corner next to these pillars and the swarming coming out from not the swarm itself, but from the blue team, the COG. It's something that you got to be a little fearful of. Rezik, though, had his team teammates off spawn he held on long enough and allowed his squad members to come back in picks up a double for his trouble and also looking to just down monkeys here and you see sleeper this is going to be his little play into those cog wheel area he's going to go for that kill there on fran he's going to try to get that down on Rezik. he's got a pure perfect sight line through everything and everyone on that side of the map in the incinerator so now you see the double home hill setup for reciprocity will come through but it's so hard it's so difficult to keep that setup sleeper big turnaround on Rezik. the embarrassment Three down for reciprocity, Colin. Sleefer, just the, the, the domination from Ghost Gaming in this round. Each and every time you get that team fight, it always works out in Ghost Gaming favor, the way they're coordinating around one another. Even though Reciprocity did have signs of life and was able to bounce Ghost out of their home, it doesn't matter. All that matters is picking up the dub in the round, and Ghost does just that, 2-0. So now Ghost has invested very little. Reciprocity, they're already down three possible total respawns. Three members of their team are already down to four. We're going to round number three. They have to win these initials. They have to do something to either change the importance of the fight from the control tower away, or they have to make the fight about something else other than just giving Ghost what they want. Smoke grenade now placed over at the home by security office. Sleepy he, time's choice here. What is the reciprocity going to do? Ooh. I'm looking for boom. Boom up top, something up top. Marks up top. There you go. They put the power weapon up there. Identives is going to have to go up there, win that thing, and then either take it himself or give it to somebody that might want it a little more than he does. But I'm going to harken back to what we talked about earlier. Now Ghost Gaming has those smoke grenades. An update from Gears 4 to Gears 5. The smoke grenade no longer has a timer on it. Where it hits, it explodes. It will cloud your vision oh so terribly. Can't see who's coming from where, who's going what. Flashes out. This has been a constant win on the initial for Ghost Gaming. Is it going to be the same thing here as Identives does go down? How is Ghost going to try and bounce back? Let's jump into a listening. Cuidado, que nadie escondido arriba. Cuidado, que sigan gastando spawners. Ellos van a seguir lo más seguro. 
Sí, voy a agarrar, voy a agarrar la posición de acá, ¿vale? ¿Qué ellos? Nada más que un minuto, güey. Un cero bien mamado, güey. Como los de siempre, güey. Vamos, cabrón. Estoy, vamos. y tengo la barra aquí, tengo la. Güey, mejor que si alguien me cambia. Vaya, ven, 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 corre, corre, corre. Eso, 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 eso. Vete por ellos, eso. Yo tengo Mars aquí, yo tengo Mars aquí, yo tengo Mars aquí, eso. Vamos a a todos. ¡Rusi está rojo! ¡Rusi está rojo! Vamos a hacer algo por su pong. ¡Está pusando uno! ¡Tengo uno, hombre! ¡Me está pusando! Voy a sobrevivir. No puedo ayudarte. Estoy vivo, estoy vivo. No mames, me llegó otro. Me llegó cuatro ahí, cuatro ahí, cuatro ahí. Vamos a Juan. Para, para, para. Que ellos corren, que ellos corren, se puede correr. ¡A tiro! ¡Una mid! 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 ¡Una no salga, no salga, vale. No salga, sí, nadie salga. ¡Otra más! ¡Otra más! ¡Otra más! ¡Tranquilo, tranquilo! What a close round there. It almost looked like there could have been a potential for a break, but it did not happen. Ghost Gaming, they managed to take three rounds straight here against Reciprocity. And I want to talk about the big part of that map. So with the marks of being placed in the control tower, they end up winning the initial marks of placement. They get it off that first initial fight. And there's the Reciprocity. Reciprocity does. The big difference is mid-round, Ghost adjusts. They put a 3-2 split on the map. They put two people on the B hill. They put three people over on the incinerator side. Ghost then pushes those two people across B. They start to put a little bit of damage on Icy, who was sitting on the home side of Reciprocity. One of those members from the incinerator sneaks up to the control tower. They kill Icy. That member comes up to the control tower. They kill off Franchise, get the second Marksa, and are able to take the hill advantage on a retake. The defensive stand fell apart for reciprocity. Well, now we jump into our next round here, and I believe we ended up getting... I think I want to say an additional uh, smoke. Incendiary grenades. And, and, and incendiary grenades that were added. Here we go now. The fight up top once again. Franchise, he's gonna get stunned. Has to push forward here. Forces goes back into the corner. And Identives, they're gonna disengage. They're gonna get out of there. Icy does win that Marksa, and now they're gonna have control of it. So it's worked out for them. They put down the Marksa, and it's not like how it was in game one, where they were losing that initial battle every single time. Now they're starting to have some success with it. Identives, look at him trying to be sneaky. He's trying to get all the way through to that control room. He does finally go down. You got to push for that kill, big boy. Yeah, but there's also the value. Oh, no, of nobody's dead. Up nobody's dead. Nobody's nobody's over there to pick him up, so they don't have to push him. He has to suicide. Yeah, and I think he does that. Yeah, he is. He is out of the game. He's out. You see the. Uh, we, we see that. Sorry, I got really there. excited because I was like, but oh, you know, God, if somebody's there. It's a good there. point, though. It's a good point because what if someone was there, right? Then you don't really get the value out of that kill that you thought you were going to have. Luckily for them, though, they do manage to do just that. Reciprocity have lost three rounds straight, Colin. They need to have an answer back. You cannot go down 4-0 in game three, especially after the match they had, the very emotional game on training grounds. If it does happen like this 4-0, that is a pit that they need to dig out of, and I don't know if they're capable of doing it. Here comes the break on the home hill of reciprocity, and Sleefer will get one, Sleefer will get two, and Ghost Gaming will indeed go up 4-0. Zero in map number three. I feel like that pit starting to get deeper and deeper and deeper. The crowd. Mexico, look at him. Up above reciprocity, by the way. So that means these ghost guys, they can see this, this crowd cheering for them. And reciprocity has to hear that over their head, over the comms. We might be in Atlanta, but home court advantage has to be for Ghost Gaming right now. The energy in the room, the crowd cheering for Ghost Gaming, it is all going their favor. Momentum, hype, energy, the love, the vibes, as we like to call them, are all in the favor of Ghost. Ghost Gaming, they want to make things go boom. That's why they throw down a boom shot by security and then reciprocity, a shock grenade on their side. So I think you're gonna have somebody pick that boom up. 
if the fight's not going but so well in that control room, you rotate the boom to the priority lane that comes up. Whatever lane needs help. If not, if you win it, you just rotate that sucker over to their home and use that to take their home hill. You need to get a lot of value off of that Here he comes back shot. out. The boom shot came out of security. He's looking down toward B. Scary. Scary now. Sleepy time. Kills Rush. Uh, kills Monkeys. And again, they win the uh, battle up top for the Marksa. And Chaos pulled all the way back into the control room with that boom shot. You see Franchise up top. He has that Marksa. 50 rounds to his credit. He has to make these shots count. They cannot fall apart on another possible push from Ghost Gaming. Franchise is waiting. Waiting to find Dennis. Just get pushed. Call for help. I'm just going to disengage from the fight. Sleeper cross map. There goes the marks. It's got two players that are going to be exposed now. One goes down. Both go down now. That sleepy time on cleanup duty. Oh, no. Oh, no. Franchise goes down. And I think he had the marks in his hand. Did you With like the my domination, warning? Though, the domination. They're coming to B. Seconds. They're going to make it to B. They're going to go. Maybe can they get the break? No, they cannot. Reciprocity have some life in them after all. And they get a round win after losing four straight. You hear Fatal Strike yelling, put your hands up. If he means anything like I've heard somebody say, put your hands up, he's saying that they need to fight back. Not Ghost Gaming. His own guys need to put their hands up because right now, Reciprocity down by three rounds in map number three. You're at a standing eight count, Golden Boy. If you go down again, that could spell the end of this championship type fight. Drop shot's been placed. Reciprocity want to get that power weapon in their hands. And the disable right there. So now they have nothing. Yeah, and they don't have the they do not have the drop for three rounds. Ghost again. I want to emphasize this. A disable is three full rounds. Ghost can literally close this out without ever having to worry about that drop shot. And oh man, this is crazy. Also, the warning up above. Lives are gonna reset at the end of this round. We're also gonna change the positioning for the hills. They've won this initial up above. Franchise, does he have some support? Is a player gonna be right behind him there? And this is shades of what we saw in the last round as Identives and company, they are gonna disengage yet again, thus giving up top control to Franchise. Franchise will get the marks, uh, and you see Chaos. He was originally bringing that boom shot up top. Look at this. There Chaos uses that boom shot, I believe, to get a kill on his own home. They're all over this no, one. No, no. He used it to kill the person that was capping up the B-Hill. So they have three members here for Ghost Gaming at the B-Hill. Two of them rotating up onto Icy in that control room. Watch out in the Icy control. has to be able to look behind him. He has to figure out what's coming behind him because it's the oh. boogie man. He gets one. Don't Icy. do it to him. Oh, man, but the domination, though. They had to send two players up top. They get the stop, and that's going to be reciprocity back in it. 4-2. Four, 4-2. Two. Four, two. Four to two. Mavo now calling for the choke on the side of Ghost Gaming, but there is by far no end to this really in sight. Four two at the end of the half. Now you go to the second half. Two more rounds on that disable. No weapons are placed between the last round of the first half and the first round of the second half. So everything stays the same. You're basically playing it, except the respawns reset and the timers go all the way back to full. That drop shot is still going to be locked for another two rounds. The fight up top yet again. I see the hero in that last one. Managed to pick up a kill. That player is going to be stunned. And Identives, you're out of here. Roll right into him. I dare you. I see with the triple kill. Put respect on his name because he's going to demand it. The ice man cometh and he will stay in your home hill. Monkeys has to use that boom shot to get the first kill. The triple cap being threatened. Two seconds, one second. It is not going to happen. There it is. Icy as clutch as ever. Reciprocity. We're in a pit. They were in a pit. And they've managed to build a ladder to get out of there. I don't even know how they're doing this. Look at that stare. Look at the stare on Icy. He's looking at his opponents. There is not a single emotion out of that man, but pure intensity and hatred for how they have put them in the hole, and he wants to bring his team back out. The Ice Man will have his way. Look at that. Stone face.
Oh. Benson losing his collective mind. When you get Benson excited, you know you know things are going well. Are you sure that he's got this on his monitor? I'm, I'm pretty sure he just saw that. <laughs> oh, man. Here we are, folks. Now the pendulum has shifted. And Reciprocity are looking to do the dirty deeds against Ghost Gaming. I, I am smiling from ear to ear because I couldn't have asked for a better map three, ladies and gentlemen. I am almost at a loss for words for this intensity. Does Icy have that hot hand and did it, did it come with him in this next game? Is he going to ride this momentum? More flashes are out, but Icy hasn't gotten the connections that he was looking for. Dezo, by the box. This battle up top so intense. Icy trying to bait them out, trying to pull them away, but he's still getting chunked on the side. He's taking that damage. He's got to be careful. My goodness, this is a showcase of four of the best Nasher players in the world. This is 2v2 boxes, basically. But Franchise with the support. Busting out that Lancer. We all know that Lancer is powerful. That's a, oh no, but oh, no, we walked into him. And Icy, Icy still manages to stay alive. They he rotate gets Sleepy. Down. They he rotated gets Sleepy. And Sleepy Ghost rotated fight. Chaos. Oh my word, Colin. That was such an intense There's still battle, a fight. Not over. There's still a fight. They're still filtering. Sleepy time up above. Rushy's there for the support. They're going to get the down. What are we witnessing here, ladies and gentlemen, except for a brawl room brawl deep in Forge Redux? That was a fight for the ages there. But the action continues over by the incinerator, and it looks really good for Reciprocity. They got the E-Hill. They have button control, which is oh so important they in the second the Marza. half. They have Marksa. Sl monkeys picking up those flashbangs on their home. Two members down here. Four members of Ghost Gaming are getting ready to fly at Icy. Icy, though, he couldn't get out of there quickly enough. That's when Rushies, he needs to be that hero with the Marksa. Put some damage forward. Help them out. Oh, no, but Rushies, he's going to be in a world of hurt here. He's got to continue to play around the corner, but Ghost Gaming. They managed to wolf pack their way through. He couldn't apply the shots quickly enough with the Marksa. And now Reciprocity find themselves in a really rough spot here. Franchise needs to open it up for him. He's going to have some help from Icy. And there goes Chaos running away. He needs to run away. Cog domination has been denied. As it currently stands, Ghost Gaming have full control of the map. Icy didn't have any support there for Franchise. Now Icy's going to get pushed 2v1. He's going to fly back onto the back side of that pillar. And you see where Ghost Gaming has the opportunity to win this now in 40 seconds. But Swarm, with that break, has put themselves in a position to win this round. Just a little over a minute now. He's going to be up for grabs, this player. Oh, Chaos. He got a little gully there and went for it. They gotta clean this up. They gotta clean this up because they just lost two players. They're losing F. They're losing F. They gotta be careful here. They need to make some moves with Sleeping Time. He's got his eyes on his opponent up ahead of him. They need to kill this guy. They gotta get him out of there, but it ain't gonna work out for him. Rushies goes down. The COG team will win in 21 seconds. Ghost Gaming looking to make this one five to three. Domination denied for the time being. This is still anyone's game here. They have time to get across the other side of the map and potentially stop the bleeding here on D. If he gets his kill, no. Is he gonna get there in time? He needs to make the play. They stop it, but where's the player on E? No Nobody. one is there on E to deal with it. And Ghost Gaming, they're gonna win the round and he'll go up five to three. I hope you forgive me, Golden Boy. I let you take the reins in those last few moments because without a doubt, I am so invested in watching each and every little rotation, each and every little player movement. I apologize I didn't have you back there at the end. But it's okay, though, and, and you know what? I'm fine with that because, and the reason being, that was a great round, and it started at the beginning. It started with the lock at boom shot because look at what's available for them right now. The drop shot. They're going to have power weapon control. And then they've been winning that fight up above for the Marksa. So they're going to have a bulk of the power weapons in this map if it keeps going that way. So smokes are placed on the, the support home hill of Reciprocity. Ghost Gaming places those shocks 
I think we're about to see a game changer in that control room fight. If whoever picks up those shocks can get them over there in time to back them up. Well, it's going to be Sleefer. But Sleefer's taking him over to Incinerator. Yep, he will take him over to the 1v1. You it's see a 3v2. 3v2. 3v3, but with a late ad, with a late ad. Franchise immediately gets the kill on Dezo. That is going to give them an opportunity. Franchise with two. I see around the corner. He's got to help his teammate Franchise out. He's going to be out now. And Identives is DBNO. Clean him up, and you win up top. Get to E. They got to fly. They're going to get into the E hill. They see one member all the way back on their home line. The other one coming into the control room. Now Rushies has picked up that drop shot. He has to use this in support of the next available push. Three members posturing for Ghost Gaming on the side of the security office with four now on that side. So Rushies will have to swing defense to that side of the map. I like this play here. Ices is, is in a world of hurt, and because of that, it's going to be Rushies. Up above with the drop shot. He has angles. He has vision. He can see where they are. Oh, and nope. no, doesn't connect. Does deal some damage though. And they take that moment, that opportunity, Dezo, when he went for that shot to push up, and he's gonna reap the benefits of it, Colin. Desenide showing no fear in the face of Rushman. Three members of Ghost Gaming are getting ready to push the home hill, but it looks like a pinch might come through. You see you see, Reciprocity is now set up. It's an attempt to try to keep them from getting a pinch right there. They've got the decap. They went for the cap, but there's too much damage happening to Identives. He has to roll out. He has to get to safety. Three members now sitting in that E-hill. If they go for it, Icy continues to put the pot shots on him. Look at that. It's a, it's a pickup party, and they're all invited. They get on out of there, and they get E as well. A bit of a group hug moment for them, getting all those pickups. Rushies with one. Franchise is answering with one of his own. Lacy backs off to use that mark so yet again to try to get some Lancer or get some marks of shots in. They have him down again. They've got him down in the back, so now you have to focus on these last two alive. Kills have been registered for reciprocity. Dezo's not respawning. Dezo's still waiting for his life. There's the elimination. There, you go. there it is. Reciprocity with the fourth round to their favor. A little bit of economy coming out from Ghost at the end of that round. One more round lock, if I'm correct, for the boom shot. Oh, man, what a game this has been. That's right. So it is still going to be locked. Weapon placement choice for reciprocity. What, are they, what do they elect to do? They're going to upgrade those uh, smokes they put to stuns. Or, flat, excuse me, shocks. They're going to go for utility again. Incidents, incendiaries, I'm sorry. And a great, no, I but took, it, even the, it, still, a great option. You get area of effect control, lane control, just like you would with the shock, does some damage. A hammy or an extra one? Do they go for the, they went to the drop shot. There we go. So in one round, if they need to, and they go up 6-4, they will have a drop and a boom on their own home. Oh, boy. <laughs> I just look at that. I just wanted to see your reaction to that idea. A lot of firepower, and we're getting down to the wire, people. 5-4 is the count currently. You're watching the E-League Gears 5 Summer Series Invitational. First time we're seeing competitive Gears of War 5 played. Here on the main stage, nice and drive. there's Rushies with the drop shot connection on Identives. You're looking to win this round as well for Reciprocity to get it to 5-5 because in one round again, they will have both of those explosives at their ready. Rushies with a snub down and out. Icy returns to the top of the control room. They're going to look to get him some good information to where he needs to rotate out of here and go to help his best lane priority teammate. Now, we may have started this show at 12 o'clock Eastern time, but it is now 3 p.m. We've been in this game for three hours, and we have more to come, because after this, it's going to be your reigning, defending Gears champions, Tox Gaming, going up against EU's finest in what is surely going to be another barn burner. And for now, it's the Latin American Ghost Gaming going up against Reciprocity. Look at the shots. Identives down. He's going to get picked up. Here comes the pickup party again. Chaos. Big shots in. There goes that drop. It doesn't connect with anything. They just get them off of that front side of the incinerator. So now, does Reciprocity go for their own pickup party, their own attempt at getting somebody in there to get the to get the e cap there on the E-Hill? Chaos down again. Gets another pickup. They're continuously getting them down, getting them I down. see with the down and out on Identives. Down and out. Rezik with the kill on Dezo. They got to get Chaos now. 
Chaos is around the corner. Get the cleanup on him, and that is going to be yours for the taking because he got button. Now it's time to look at D. Well, they go the, the power room. Identives invested. Identives did invest. Deso invested. Chaos has to. two seconds. They have to. They cannot allow Russell Pro to invested. get this game back in. But now they're coming off the spawn. There goes the flashes right around the corner. The domination has been denied. Any more kills coming in here for Ghost. Chaos gets another, but it's two now for Reciprocity. And it's just Monkeys going up against four players of Reciprocity. And we got ourselves a tied game here in Atlanta. Neck and neck, back and forth. Who will be the first not to answer back? Look at that scoreboard. Ghost goes up four straight rounds. Reciprocity answers with three of their own before Ghost wins another one. Neither team has given quarter, and they expect no quarter. This is Gears Esports, ladies Two shots and gentlemen. And drop shots. And we're about to go boom in Forge Blitz. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, Lord Almighty, somebody help me with what I'm witnessing. Every power weapon is within the grasp. It's on the front porch. Walk out your door. Grab it. Take it to the next fight. I can't wait. But Ghost with a little bit of an advantage because their drop shot will come back in a minute 15. Oh, boy. Here we go. This is, I, I'm going to have to stand. I can't. <laughs> you want to stand up or you want to stand up? You want to stand up? This is too much. What a game this has been. Hopefully you all have been thoroughly entertained. Reminder, single elimination bracket. Winner moves on to the grand Nobody wins finals. control tower. Loser Nobody goes home. Nobody met them in control tower. Look, they got a three-man push here and two at the home. Nobody met them in control tower. It's a bait. There's the incinerator. It oh. picks up a kill. Burn, baby, burn. Franchise with that kill on Sleeper, and that sounds gruesome. Ooh. Got some great barbecue sauce down here in the south. I think it might need some of what had just happened. Hit him with uh, with JR's barbecue sauce. <laughs> sauce it, baby. JR is getting a lot of love in this broadcast. He I'll is. It's a, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a, it's only gonna happen with the two of us up here. You know that, right? <laughs> Everything slowed down here, as it should. This round is unbelievably important. Identives a little hurt. He's gonna have to take care of himself because he's down to three respawns. The side of Reciprocity is sitting pretty with four members at five, only one of them having invested more than that. Ghost Gaming with the tension with the knife. It better be, it doesn't even gotta be a sharp knife. It's a hot knife through butter at this point. Identives and his teammate, Monkeys, back away. They have boom shot. Looking to open the floodgate, floodgates potentially. There goes again, Identives. Sometimes you just gotta go for the play, and maybe it's gonna pay off for you. The boom does. shot from Monkeys is connection for Icy. Goodbye, my friend. Chaos still has the drop shot in hand. He switches over to the snub. He's on this backside here. He's still got the round in that drop shot. He has yet to use it. He may be saving it, holding on to it for the perfect time. They get the two cap now. Call team. Oh, oh no, oh no, it was a lift one, it was a lift one. He shot the drop shot, but it didn't go forward. It's Rush not gonna, is gonna get killed though. Him. So even with that missed drop shot, three members of Reciprocity are dead. So Man. Reciprocity still won't have a chance to win this. It's gonna take two minutes off of that single hill, but by God Almighty, they've gotta get somewhere. They gotta do something, they gotta have an answer. I thought that that could have been a momentum shift there for a brief moment. He had a clear Second drop shot second. already. Second drop shot already. Chaos. They're gonna have to use it. Oh, he no. wasted again. Oh no. He wasted again. And they get the pickup kill there on to Dezo. Chaos. He's got right hand advantage. Somebody has to get inside that incinerator. Get to the angle. You're gonna have to get to the angle. They gotta cap it. They gotta cap that. They gotta get control of this. Heavy one damage on him. Win. They're gonna get this kill. Dezo with the respawn boom shot. Dezo with the respawn boom shot. Here comes Franchise. All oh, Franchise killed immediately. Now it's gonna be Rushy's turn here. And, and they Sleeper get the cleanup. Trying to hold it. But two players down now for Ghost Gaming. Hail Mary! Hail oh, Mary! From, from downtown. downtown! Oh no! Oh, no. Somebody give him that ribbon. That was a Hail Mary. I don't care what you say, baby. In 30 seconds, Ghost Gaming are poised to win this. Reciprocity, they're gonna decap Icy D. doesn't know. Icy has no idea. Oh, he's completely unawares. 
Dezo is hiding. When they rotate off of that hill, he's going to OE. Here it comes. Here comes the sneaky play. He's the OE. If he know. gets the break, it pretty much spells R-I-P instead of B-R-E-A-K, baby. Looking for it now. They're seeing it happen. They get it, though. They get ENF. They get ENF. They're still going to win in 15 seconds if it keeps going like this. Monkeys is down. Monkeys is down. They're going to get the break on their own hill. This is what you need for reciprocity. Oh. Drop shot in. The double cap, and that will spell the end of the round. Reciprocity are at game point, series point. Six, five. My God, I can't take my eyes off of Icy, and those of you at home should not either. That man is the living embodiment of Gears 5, baby. Intensity, he's got integrity, he's got some intelligence. He is on the warpath. He's got path. all the eyes. He's got, he's all got the them all. He's success. got them all. Give him a gold medal. That's right, baby. Hit him with the angle slam. <laughs> more ammo. Is it more ammo or more time? It looks like... 75 seconds there, yeah, so it's they drop, time. They drop the time down. They drop the time down. But that gives, they, they're going to drop the time down on their boom. They will now have both of their power weapons completely upgraded for this next fight, giving them the best chance possible for yet another round oh, 13. Man. Look at the respawns. Franchise down to three. Sleefer identifies all the way down to two here in this round. Enemy contact. If you're just joining us, maybe you heard about this on social media. Make sure you're out there letting us know what you think of the game. Go to at E-League TV on Twitter and Instagram. Share with us because we want to hear from you. Your thoughts on this incredible matchup. Monkeys, they're not going to be done yet at all. Monkeys with two. That's going to be huge for Ghost Gaming. And now they get possession of that coveted Marksa. There goes sleepy time, though, for the challenge. But he's going to get peppered with shots from behind. And the Marksa does the job. I'm looking. Sleefer on the opposite side of the map will cap that E hill. They still have the drop shot in the hands of Chaos. They'll be coming back in about 35 seconds. Both of those weapons will be coming back in 30 seconds for Ghost Gaming. Only the drop shot in favor of Reciprocity. Headshot. Headshots knocking Rushies down to what I saw for a brief moment was under 40% health. Players are having conversations on the main stage about what their move is going to be. I think they you have lost to, that initial. There it is. There's another. There's another down. Here it comes. It's they have to push the before that. Before those power weapons come back up, they have to push. You can't give them another two power weapons to stop your defensive stand. The boom shot up. The drop shot back. Sleeper gets boom shot on their side. Both teams have power weapons. The boom shot. The drop shot. But. It'll be Ghost Gaming that'll get it in just over a Ghost minute. Ghost Gaming's going to get a drop shot again. There's more ammo. Time. Monkey's got the drop shot. Look at that. On the side of Ghost Gaming, we have a boom and two drops in three different members' hands. They're stacking them. Sleeper's down. Was he? Did Sleeper go down? No, he didn't. He got in cover. He got in cover. There goes the decap on E. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, no. He doesn't get the value out of that one that he was looking for, and Chaos is going to have to get out of there. Looking to his teammate to back him up here. Sleeper. Boomshot got shot and missed. Boomshot didn't connect. They've wasted it. Now and you, and they you have so many power weapons, Colin. You need to take advantage of them. Chaos, another kill on Rushies. This is the moment. Reciprocity's not gone for that decap yet. Icy couldn't make something happen. Now Sleepy Time has to back away. That was their last gasp. This will basically spell the end of this round if that didn't work, and it will. The elimination comes through, and Golden Boy. We're going to round 13, ladies and gentlemen. Round 13, game three. First match of the day here at E-League. I'm not saying that if you're not here, you're missing something. I'm saying if you're not here, you're missing something. You're insane to not be in the chat, rooting for your team, getting hype for either Ghost Gaming, for Reciprocity, all of it on the line. Win and move on. Lose and go home. Nobody wants to lose this one. You have one round for your tournament life, ladies and gentlemen. Who are you betting on? What are they going to go for? Bring that time down. Yeah, they're going to go to 75 post. Mm -hmm. 
Ghost Gaming put down the, the Ghost Gaming is given a pistol now. They've added extra utility for this yeah. final round. They've had that slight advantage. A, a slight weapons pick advantage. Is it the I, difference? I hate to say this, but whoever has to move on from here has basically shown their hand for the finals. You know how they play the game because they've had to throw everything imaginable at this fight. Hey, let's not forget, though, that simplicity yesterday took talks, took it to them, I should say. So I think a lot of players here have seen what they're capable of. There's a lot of... Drop shot bounced off the oh, wall, no. didn't connect. I was gonna say, there's Boom just a shot lot in. going on here, people. More shots, boom shots exchange now. Rezik gets a double. There's the drop shot. They've called out Chaos with that drop. They try to push in. They don't get it down. Chaos runs back up. I don't think he used it, though. Icy will have control over the early round marks so here in round 13, Golden Boy. So Fresh has the positioning, not the hills yet. Four members, five members, all five members of Ghost Gaming on the stacking side of the hill. E, stacking E because they know that they need to do this. There's going to be coverage on the outside, but once again, Icy has that Marksa in this position. Chaos, though, kills Sleepy Time, and that's going to stop them for the time being. That active on the Marksa. You see that yellow hit marker indication when you get the headshot, deals more damage. Monkeys is going to be out of the fight. Got to clean him up. There you go, you get to clean up. They got to get in the hill, get in the hill. Nobody's at the button. They're gonna get that break. Still four members of Ghost Gaming on that side of the map, ladies and gentlemen. So the, the, the presence is there for both teams. Oh no! Icy just team killed Rezik! Icy just team killed Rezik! They gotta move away from this. It may not hurt them that much, but we know that team kills always at this critical situation is not something that you wanna see happen. Oh no! Oh, Rushies kills Fran! Rushies kills Fran! Again, more team kills. The pressure is on for both of these teams. I see one drop shot left to work with. They do not have the lead. He goes for the free wheeling shot there. That is damage, but is it enough to drop identity? No, it's not. It's it not. isn't. They gotta push up. They don't see him. They don't see him. They don't see him. I see the kill. Hero. He didn't oh, have the money. He didn't have the reload. Play. He didn't have the reload. He didn't have the reload, ladies and gentlemen. Cry chaos and let loose the dogs of war. Ghost Gaming is going to come out on top of this exchange. And now Franchise left all by himself with his hands up to defend himself in this fight. What do they have left to work with here? They need to rally the troops. Dig deep. It's your last opportunity. Win or go home. This is the last gas push. 45 seconds, under a minute. Seconds Somebody will win. Boom shot comes up again for reciprocity. 15 Ghost seconds Gaming's boom shot drop. right is up now. Waiting for it. They've got it. That's another kill. <clears throat> This isn't good. This isn't good for reciprocity. Start to think about what that plan is going to be because you only got 25 seconds to work with. Boom in hand, drop in hand, goes the same. Mirrored images of what these teams have at their capabilities to put in this final fight. You see the movement will come out. They'll go after monkeys. That will miss. It will be too short. Dezo picks up Rezik. Now they have to fly. They have to get to the E hill. He will not play. get there in time they without any damage on him. He's got to make Rushing, something happen. He misses the fight. The oh! double kill. There it is. There it is. Ghost Gaming. Ghost Gaming. They win the match in what can only be described as an instant classic, a brawl between two top teams in Gears Esports. And what a game that was. Top to bottom. Every single moment brought with it tension, drama, intrigue, action. That was, dare I say, that was just beautiful. Glorious, gorgeous, everything you can imagine. I can't imagine a better matchup. That was only our first match of the day. Number one, because coming up next, we have Tox versus EU's finest. But after that though, or before that, I should say, we have the desk breaking it all down in that instant classic. We can't choke that, bro. Four more rounds, baby. Four more rounds. Baby. Get it.